Hey, what's up everybody? True Boxing here. Thank you for coming back to get hit with the truth. So today we're doing the... Today I'm doing the... Um, continuing my 2022 year-end top tens as we look at my number nine super featherweight in the world right now at 130 pounds uh, contender Oshaki Foster. Um, Foster wasn't ranked coming in he's only 29 he has an overall record of 19 and 2 and he's a WBC's number one ranked contender part of that reason is he had a win over um god well I forget the guy's name um the veteran uh, content, uh former champ I believe um and he beat a guy named uh Mohammed Kuja Yakubov by unanimous decision this past year and that kind of um that is uh um that that kind of led him to his number one ranking in the WBC right now. So he's heading into the um a big showdown with Ray Vargas. He's got the opportunity of a lifetime on February eleventh on Showtime when he main events against Ray Vargas for the vacant WBC super featherweight title. This is a big, big fight right here for Foster. And to be honest, I think it's a fight he's going to win. Um, I, you know, I'm a fan of Ray Vargas, a big fan. But I think him moving up uh, to a third weight class in, in a matter of four fights is going to be a little too much for him. And, and it's mostly because it's not that he can't win. I absolutely believe Ray Vargas can win. I think stylistically, I, I just believe that um, I... I Foster has a a, uh, a more complicated style than Vargas is used to, and uh, Vargas is not used to the weight. So I think uh, Vargas, I think Foster is going to outwork him and uh, walk away with a unanimous uh, or a decision victory. It could be unanimous, could be close. Um, again, I, I really do believe it could go either way, but I'm picking Foster to win and become the new champion. And then after that, we'll see what goes down. You know, I mean, it really could go, um, really could go uh, either way after that. You, you just you don't know for sure. Um, but I think I think it should be good. And uh, that's Saturday, February 11th on Showtime. And again, after that, um, you know, the sky's kind of the limit. We're gonna see what other options are out there for Foster. And um, you know, hopefully he can uh, establish himself as a top guy in the division. But a win over Vargas will do that. It will put him in position for you know to become a. Uh, a it'll probably put him in the top five. It'll make him a serious player at 130 pounds. So we'll see what happens. But that's Saturday, February 11th on Showtime. Foster versus Vargas for the WBC title. Um, that's pretty much what I got. That's my number nine super featherweight in the world right now at 130 pounds, Oshaki Foster. Uh, as my 2022 year-end top tens continue, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, smash the like button, leave a comment, subscribe to the channel. I appreciate any and all support. This is True Boxing. You've been hit with the truth.